Welcome to the prayer for bills. This is simply a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself, speak it daily, or listen to this over and over again, and allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon as touching, you will surely do. The Bible says if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet, and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the listener who desires a prayer for bills. Father, you pave the streets of heaven with gold. You own a cattle on a thousand hills, and all the gold and silver is yours. In the Garden of Eden, we can see that your original plan was abundant provision. It is through the fall of man that evil has permeated your creation. This may be that the listener is facing this personally, or they simply have it on their heart in a general sense. Poverty is not from you. You get no glory from it. Your word says that you desire that no man perish and that all would be saved. In like manner, you desire that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. Provision is who you are. Abundance is who you are. You want us flowing in more than enough so that you, through us, can establish your kingdom here on earth so that the gospel can be preached. You want the gospel preached everywhere and that takes finances. We speak to the spirit of lack debt and poverty that's trying to latch on to the listener. We break your back and curse you in Jesus' name. We rebuke you and break your influence in the life of the listener and or those they have in their heart right now. Jesus paid the price on the cross, defeating every curse, and we rebuke you, poverty, in the listener's life. Everything that is good comes from you, Father. You are the source of goodness and blessings. Yes, you take pleasure in the prosperity of, of the listener and all those whose hearts are open before you. If the listener has brought about the lack, Father, we ask you to show them how, where, why, and what to do to stop that leak. Grant them supernatural wisdom to manage the increase you have given them. We call them even smarter and wiser in the ways of the Lord now in Jesus' name. We declare that they are directed by your Spirit to handle increase from heaven. We ask you to give them wisdom, revelation, and understanding of your word, Lord. Help the listener to know your will and your ways in all areas of life even more deeply. Ministering spirits, angels, go forth and bring in the supply the listener needs to more than cover the bills they face. Lord, we ask for extra hours at work, for good investment opportunities, for raises and bonuses, new inventions, witty business ideas, unexpected money gifts, Father, any and everything to bring increase to come into the listener's life in Jesus' name. We speak to those bills and we call you paid in Jesus' name. We declare that the listener is wealthy and wise in Christ. In Jesus' name, we ask for divine connections for the listener, that they would come across preaching and teaching on abundance because of Jesus' sacrifice. We bind and rebuke any deception the enemy has tried to put over their eyes and heart. Poverty is not from you. Poverty is part of the curse of the law, and we rebuked it off the listener's life and anyone else on the listener's heart. You are the God of more than enough. That's even one of your names. Praise you, Lord. Yes, you will always, Father, receive all the glory and honor for increasing the listener. We praise and exalt you in advance. In Jesus' name, we bind anxiety, worry, and fear right now. We cast it aside because you are the listener's provider and you are faithful. In Jesus' name, we decree and declare divine favor with others over the listener and those whose eyes are open to increase through Jesus. Where they go, rich favor follows them. Where they go, blessings overtake them. Yes, as the listener seeks first your kingdom and your righteousness, blessings chase them down and overtake them. Genuine relationship and fellowship with you comes first, Father. Blessings, abundance, increase comes second. Your word says that you take pleasure in the prosperity of your servant. We believe it and therefore speak it over the life of the listener. Your word also says that you've given the listener and those we are praying for the ability to obtain wealth. Thank you. We ask in Jesus' name for divine connections to bring about this increase and eradication, Father, eradication of lack in the listener's life. Please bring the right people and opportunities across their path in Jesus' name. Give the listener and those we are praying for wisdom and discernment to keep them on the path you have for them and to not get led astray. In Jesus' name, please give the listener strength 
and help them to do right and to live right even as they receive increase from you, leaving poverty in the dust. We exalt you and thank you for meeting their every need abundantly, uh, more so that they can prosper and enjoy life to the fullest, bringing all the glory and all the honor to you, Father. We declare that lack and debt is destroyed in the life of the listener and those we are praying for through Jesus. Their bills are paid in full. Yes, Jesus has redeemed the listener from poverty and given them an abundant life. We believe and receive everything we have prayed and give you glory in advance for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.